Hello, Salesforce Ohana, Walters954 here, and in this video, I'm essentially going to be going over conditional updating inside of Flows, but there's going to be a little bit of backstory uh, that goes into this, so make sure to stick around to the end where I'll give you some additional resources on how to do these conditional updates on Flow Get Records and also how to master Flows. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you are always up to date on any new videos I'm releasing. To set the stage a little bit here, what we want to do is whenever an opportunity closes, we want to create a renewal opportunity. This means cloning all of the information in the original opportunity and its opportunity products. There's a really great trailhead, link will be down below, on combining the power of Process Builder and Flows, where it walks you through how to create this type of Process Builder. Mine's a little bit different, and we'll get into the variations in here. We want to renew the opportunity whenever it's closed one. So let's jump into these different opportunity types. We have a new business, renewal, and upsell. So new business is exactly what it sounds like. It is a brand new deal. You've never worked with this account before, and this is the noted with the record type of new business. When we look at the renewal, this means that, hey, we've sold our first deal. A renewal gets created. That is great. Uh, we want to continue working with them. Uh, so we have this additional record type of renewal and, you know, there's supposedly, hopefully the same exact products from the original opportunity that was created inside of this renewal opportunity. Then we have upsells, which these are additional items that we tag onto the renewal opportunity to enhance or to sell more to upsell. So these are new items. They were not in the original opportunity itself. We can see here I have the installation and an SLA for platinum. So we're doing pretty good with two new sales. Now that we're ready to close out this renewal opportunity in the next renewal that gets created, hopefully they sign again, we want to make sure that all of the products get rolled into one. So there's just one renewal opportunity with the generators that we have on lease here, plus the SLA, plus uh, the installation or anything else that we have in here. The first thing we're going to need to do is to understand how this works right now. If we close one this opportunity, and I'll just mark it close one here, let's see what happens. So this gets closed out. So another opportunity was actually created here and we can see that there's this prospecting stage big renewal one. So it copied over the name incorrectly, but some of the things we want to get done is to change this to like big renewal two and also copy over the additional products that were inside of that upsell. Let's jump into how all of this is configured in the setup and work our way into that flow. Right now we're gonna jump into process builder to get started. We are on our opportunity status change and we can see that there is an action node for closed one. Anytime the stage name is closed one, the stage name has been changed and the amount is greater than 500, we are going to drop into an immediate action that calls a flow. This flow requires the opportunity ID and it has a reference to the opportunity products. Now let's jump over into this flow. I'm not going to go over this entire flow. Please check the description or the card at the top where I create this flow and go over it in its entirety. Some of the things that I want to point out here though is we are doing a get record based on the opportunity ID that gets passed in from the process builder. And from there, we are also doing a selection of all of the opportunity products based on that opportunity ID. This flow changes a little bit if we are passing the entire opportunity reference through. In this instance, we're just using IDs to capture this information. So now really quickly, if I wanted to debug this flow, let's see what happens. I'm gonna come over into our opportunities and grab the ID of the renewal one. And we can see all of that ran successfully. The main thing that I want to point out here is on the products to iterate over, we only have two and we actually need more than that. So we want the two products that are on the renewal opportunity and we want the two products that are on the upsell. 
jump back into the flow builder and how we actually do the updating is on this particular get products node when we boil down this problem what we really want is the opportunity products from the original opportunity and the opportunity products from the upsell and the upsell is referenced in the related opportunities field here if we have a value in there we want to use that to also capture the opportunity products we want to get all opportunity products that are related to the original opportunity id or we want to get all opportunity products that are related to the related opportunity field which is an upsell when we look at the conditional requirements we only see conditions are met and get all opportunity products you know, based on no condition. So it's not this one. How do we do an or statement inside of a get record? If I click add, we're not seeing anything in here to do an or statement. This is because the or statement is implicit when you have two of the same criteria. So I'm just going to add in the opportunity ID. And now that I have two conditions of the same fields, this will execute as an or statement. And really quickly before we do our final updates, I want to go to the documentation because this is kind of a lesser known thing inside of flows. When you define multiple filters, the filter logic usually defaults to and. However, if multiple fields have the same selection and use the equals operator, the filters are combined with ors. So that is the key there. If you've never seen this in the get record documentation, you may not have known it. So let's let's finish this out by using the related opportunity record from the original opportunity. And now what we're saying is exactly that we want to get all of the opportunity products from that were related to the original one or any of the opportunity products that are related to the related opportunity store all of them just like normal and in a collection so let's go ahead and save this and everything else should work as is really we're just having a two separate selections in our get opportunity products so let's debug this and try this out one other thing, I'm activating rollback flows. I should have a new video coming out on this one very soon, so check the card or the description down below. I am entering in the opportunity ID, running that, and it looks like everything ran properly, all done, but the main thing that I wanna check in here is on these iterate over products is that we have four different product IDs in this list. All of this looked good in the debugger. Let's go ahead and activate our flow. Go back to our big deal market negotiation. And I'm basically just acting like if we're, we're close wanting this for the first time. What we're expecting now once we close one this is that a new renewal opportunity was created. It has taken the products from here and it has taken the products from our upsell. So let's go back to our opportunity list. We see we have a new prospecting opportunity. We're gonna to have to update the name here. But the most important thing is over here on the right with the products, when we go to view all, it now has all four of our different products underneath this new renewal opportunity. There's some cleaning up that we're gonna to have to do to our flow, like setting the record type properly but this gives us a really easy way to conditionally add in values inside of our get records. That's all I've got. Make sure to check out the description down below with all of the resources that I mentioned in this video. Also, if you're trying to master flows, check out salesforcementor.com. I have a course called The Ultimate Guide to Flows where every week I add new content on becoming a flow master. If this video was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm Walters954 and remember, I believe in you.